In this video, you will learn to create scatter plots using StatCrunch. The data set I will be using is called the asking prices for four bedroom homes in College Station, Texas. This data set was collected in order to compare four bedroom homes listed for sale in two adjoining cities, Bryan, Texas and College Station, Texas. Using a real estate website, 15 homes were randomly selected from four bedroom homes listed for sale in Bryan and 15 homes randomly selected from four bedroom homes listed for sale in College Station. The square footage column contains the square footage for each home and the location column lists the city where the home is located. The price column contains the asking price for the home in thousands of dollars. So for example, the first home in the data set has an asking price of $2,400,000 or $2.4 million. This is reflected in the data set as $2,400. To quickly adjust the asking prices in the data set to dollars, simply add three zeros to the value shown. Let's begin by constructing a scatter plot for square footage and price. To do so, under the graph menu, choose scatter plots. In the X column, choose square footage. And in the Y column, choose price. I'll click compute. Notice that there is a clear outlier. It can be identified by clicking and dragging the mouse around the point. The row containing the associated value is highlighted in the data table. In this case, the outlier is in the first row. This highlighting can be cleared by using the clear button in the lower left hand corner. Outliers can have a large impact on the graphics as they may greatly expand the range of one or more of the axes obscuring the details in the plot. To remove the outlier in this example, under options, choose edit. This takes us back to the original window where we built our scatter plot. Here, StatCrunch has other options for the user to choose. A WHERE expression can be used to filter the data values. Notice in the scatter plot, the outlier is the only home in the data set with a price above 2000 or 2 million. Therefore, the outlier can be removed by only considering homes where price is less than 2000. So in the WHERE box, I'm going to type in the expression price less than 2000. Note that StatCrunch is case sensitive, so when you type in an expression, it needs to appear the exact same way as in the data table. I'll click Compute, and now I get an updated scatter plot shown without the outlier. To compare the nature of the relationship between the square footage and the asking prices across the two cities of Bryan and College Station, Texas, the points in the scatter plot can be color coded according to the location of each home. To do so, back under Options, choose Edit. In the Group By box, I'm going to choose Location. I'll click Compute. And the resulting scatter plot shows the homes in Bryant in blue and the homes in College Station in red. In many cases, it is desired to examine a best fitting function that characterizes the relationship between the two variables. StatCrunch allows for overlaying the best fitting polynomial up to the fourth order. To do so, back under Options, choose Edit. I am going to overlay a line. So under Overlay Polynomial Order Box, I am going to choose 1 to overlay a polynomial of order 1 or a line of best fit. I'll click Compute. The resulting scatter plot shown shows the best fitting line for Brian in blue and the best fitting line for College Station in red. The equation of each line can be obtained by double clicking on the lines in the plot.